When water comes into your home because of a blocked drain or via a leaking pipe, and humidity reaches around 90% on a surface that contains nutrients for mold, such as cellulose, skin cells or soap residues, mold can start colonize that surface and grow. When toxic molds such as black mold grow, toxins like the trichothecenes and the ochratoxins are released into the air. These toxins are rapidly absorbed into your walls, ceiling and floor in your home, as well as the furniture, decorations, your clothes, your cell phone, your skin and hair. This presents a very serious risk to your health. Now there's a new, safe, efficient solution to completely remove mycotoxins from your home environment. But first, let's talk about the mycotoxins. Why are they so dangerous? The mycotoxins can enter your body in three ways. Through skin contact, via ingestion, or most importantly, via inhalation. When you breathe in the contaminated air in your mold-infested home, the mycotoxins enters your nasal cavity and are absorbed via the olfactory nerves. These nerves are normally used for detecting smell. From here, the mycotoxins move up in your brain into the limbic system and further into your brain. If you have genetic variations in the gene coding for the HLDR receptors, you are much more sensitive to these toxins because you lack the membrane-bound antibodies that are supposed to bind and neutralize these compounds. Around 25% of the population have these genetic variations. This explains why one person in the family can get very sick from mold while the others stay healthy. So, how dangerous are the mycotoxins? We have the trichothecenes, which is a large family of toxins. They are formed by many of the typical molds found in water-damaged buildings. Among them, the T2 toxin is one of the more dangerous. LD50 is around 0.05 mg per kilogram body weight in rats upon inhalation. That means that T2 toxin is far more dangerous than, for example, cyanide. As a comparison, the chemical warfare agent sarin gas has a LD50 of 0.172 mg per kilogram given as injection under the skin to mice. T2 toxin is found to be 400 times more irritant than sulfur mustard gas. And sulfur mustard gas is one of the most irritant compounds known to man. That's why it has been used as a chemical warfare agent. Titotoxin also alters the levels of neurotransmitters in your brain. Titotoxin is also fatal upon contact with your skin. It inhibits protein synthesis, RNA synthesis, as well as DNA synthesis. It also induces apoptosis. That means that it increases cell death rates. The okra toxins are also a family of toxins and are also able to deplete the brain of dopamine. But more importantly, they can cause urinary cancer. Okra toxin A, the most toxic okra toxin, is much less potent than the T2 toxin and has a LD50 of 20 to 25 mg per kilogram. It is also toxic for the kidneys. Symptoms from mycotoxin poisoning are brain fog, memory loss, loss of balance. Sorry, sorry, stop a moment. Yeah, I want to talk about my own story with, with mold. I lived in a water damaged building for more than 10 years. And I had all these symptoms and uh, even more symptoms than that. And... Uh, it feels like it feels like you're in a bubble. It feels like you're almost as if you're underwater somehow. 
you see everything, you hear ev everything, but it's not real. It's like uh, it's like seeing and hearing underwater almost, almost with, with the with the um, uh, brain fog and pain. You you step on things and you bump into things and you drop things and and when you hit something when something when you hurt yourself it, it feels 10 times worse th than than normally it, it hurts so bad it's terrible it's really terrible and if i forgot what day it was i forgot what month it was i even forgot what year it was at some point then it was really really bad and after a very long time, after, after almost one year, I was so depressed that I, I, I felt nothing. I was like a zombie. It was like an empty shell. It was, it was like an emotional desert. It was nothing left of me. It was completely brain dead. It was many, many times I thought, this, this is Antichrist. This is Antichrist. Warm or cold. Depression, psychosis, sugar craving, disorientation, mold rage, bloating, and fatigue. Many glands, such as the pituitary gland, also called the master gland, that regulates many hormones in your body, are also affected via apoptosis. That means that cells in these glands die faster than normal. The mycotoxins can also affect the intestines and can cause symptoms similar to IBS, that is swelling, constipation, gas, diarrhea, cramps, and pain. The toxins can also induce pain in joints, head, neck, and other parts of your body, as well as peripheral neuropathy, ENP. What can you do if you get sick from mold? We offer a safe product Ceramix air that clears the air in your home from mycotoxins. You feel the effect within 60 minutes and the air quality will improve over time. Ceramix air is used by moistening a small towel and hanging this up in your home. We also offer Ceramix surface, a solution that you mix with the oil-based paint of your choice and then you paint the floor, ceiling, walls in your home as well as the furniture, please visit ceramics.com for more information.